Hey everyone, welcome to another video of the Crossman console series. In this video, we're going to learn how to upload and create NFTs and also create a no-code storefront for your NFT collection. We will also learn how to customize the no-code storefront as well. So let's get started. And as you can see on the screen, we are on the NFT section of our collection. You have two ways of uploading and creating NFTs on this contract and your NFT collection. The first one is manual upload where you use the console's interface to manually upload an NFT's image or media file and also configure the NFT's metadata or properties. The second option is to use the API upload. This is where you will use the APIs that we provide to upload NFTs and configure their metadata via code and simple API calls. We will be looking at how you can use the Crossman's APIs a little later in the series. So for now, let's learn how you can use manual upload to upload your NFTs. So you click on manual upload and then you see that you can set some properties like the NFT name, supply, description and attributes. So let's let set the NFT name as pixelated NFT edition one and let's set the supply as 10. So the supply determines how many copies of this NFT is going to be available for your customers to purchase. And you can also set the description. So let's set it as pixelated NFT mint test. And then you can upload any media file from your desktop. So this could be an image or a video. So I'm going to pick something from my file explorer that I created using Dolly. So let's pick this NFT image and give it a few seconds to be uploaded properly. And then you can see a preview of what you uploaded. And once this image loads up, you can click on create NFT. The other option that you have is setting attributes, which is optional. So let's show you what an attribute would look like. So I'm going to set this as animals or let's say characters. And the value would be two since there are two characters in the NFT that I uploaded. And once this is done, you click on create NFT. So what this will do is it'll basically call the Crossman API on the backend and create an NFT with a supply of 10 for you. And the name of the NFT would be pixelated NFT one and the description and attribute will be the same that you entered. And once this NFT has been created, you can then create a no code storefront around this where customers can go and purchase your NFTs from. So as you can see, the NFT, has been created successfully. And you can see that the name that we set was pixelated NFT one and the supply is 10. So, and you can also see that there are no NFTs that have been minted yet. So in order for us to create a no code storefront, let's click on payments. And if this button is disabled for you, you need to enable payments because this is how your contract would start accepting payments using credit card and cryptocurrency. And since we already set the NFT price, when we were creating this particular collection, we don't need to enter the NFT price and the recipient address once again. So now you click on no code storefront and you need to enable the no code storefront because this is how it'll start accepting the payment. And you can see that you have different accepted payment methods. So please select the ones that you prefer. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna select all three, which is Ethereum, Solana and credit card. And once this is done, you click on save. So this will enable a link for your users where they can go to and also purchase your NFTs. So this is the claims page. So, and also the no code storefront page. So you simply copy this and you open another tab and you paste it. And this is what your no code storefront would look like. So as you can see that since this is on the test net and also staging, you can simply copy a dummy card information to buy with credit card and test out what the flow would look like. So I'm going to show you how you can purchase this NFT. So you simply click on buy with Crossman button and this will open a pop-up and this pop-up will load information about the pricing and your preferred method of payment. And you can see that the wallet that I have logged in with is my personal wallet, which is tied into my email address that I use to log into the console. So I'm going to click on pay with card and you can see that it's already selected. So I'm going to show you what the buy with credit card option would look like. So I'm going to click on continue to payment. And when I do this, it'll show me that I need to enter my payment information and I'm simply going to paste the card information that I copied 
And then I'm gonna give some random MM and YY information. And let's give a random CBV. And let me give the cardholder name as Rohit. And once you have entered this, you need to click on pay. Please ensure that you actually enter a correct card information if your contract and your collection is on production and the contract is on the main net. Since this is on the test net, we can get away by using a dummy information. But if it's on the main net and production, you need to use a real credit card information to purchase the NFT. And you can see that it shows that it'll be delivered in less than two minutes. And a receipt will also be sent to my email address. So let's wait for a few more seconds and you can see that the NFT would be so successfully purchased. Okay, now that the payment has been completed, you can go back to your console and click on NFTs and you can see that I have claimed one NFT. And when I open another tab and go to staging.crossman.com, I can click on my wallet to see if the NFT has been delivered to my wallet or not. And you can see that it'll be showing up soon. So you can see that the NFT that we created was pixelated NFT one and the character that we entered was two. And you can see that this belongs to my wallet. And now if you wish to transfer it to your personal wallet address, you can click on export and you can select the wallet address that you want to send it to and click on export. This will send the NFT to your wallet address in a gasless fashion, which means you do not pay any money or gas fee to transfer the asset to your personal wallet address. And you can also share a QR code, which would be the proof of authenticity and ownership of this particular NFT. And that's it. This is how you create a no-code storefront and also let your customers claim it. But before we end this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your web page as well. And by web page, I mean your no-code storefront. And this is what our no-code storefront looks like right now. And if you want to modify it, you need to click on branding and you can set a custom branding. So I can change the color and I can change the corner radius. So let's say if I pick another color from the color picker, this is what the theme would look like. And I can pick any particular theme and I can also upload a different logo, which would be the logo of your project or your company or your brand. And when you click on save changes and you click on show live page, it'll update the no-code storefront and you can see that this is the new outlook of our no-code storefront. And that's it. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we'll be learning how you can create a no-code claims page for your NFT collection. So stay tuned for that. Thanks once again.